On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, 1918, the Allied powers in Germany signed the armistice that would end what was then the deadliest war in European history. Today, exactly 100 years later, we gather here at the National World War I Museum in Kansas City, Missouri to commemorate the event and remember those who served. In honor of those who served in the World War, defense of liberty and our country. So reads the inscription on the base of Liberty Tower. This past weekend, many gathered to do just that, honor the fallen, on the centennial anniversary of the original Armistice Day. For me, I try to uh, say thank you to people who have gone before me, uh, other veterans that have served in other wars and stuff like that. For Christopher May, who served with the Army in Iraq and Pakistan, it's a matter of duty to those who came before him. It's important to remember the sacrifice of uh, other people and to kind of visit places like this, um, like World War One, that the wars that came before us. The museum showcases many artifacts from the war, ranging in size from small medals to full-size airplanes, as well as pictures and audio presentations. But this past weekend, the main displays were outside, with an art exhibit featuring 117 poppies, and at night, the whole tower lit up in red. Why poppies? Because they grew on the battlefield and have become a symbol of remembrance. The biggest thing for me was seeing the, all the faces from different places, uh, how people sacrificed, they came together to fight what they thought was an a important and good cause. May was one of many veterans and tourists visiting the museum for this historic anniversary, and it was an event that brought us as a community together peace and remembered. For ONW Now, Jacob Gotham.